So when we start looking at the types of things that are growing. So this first section here is all about things that were already in place, but that we're seeing a big growth in it. So scams, um, tech support scams, 347 million in 2021, which is an increase of 200 million as compared to 2020. Phishing, always big thing. You talked about phishing at the beginning, not like you know the rod and reel, but phishing in over, it's 2021 grew by 82,000 to 324,000 victims of phishing. Data breaches, the number of breaches was slightly lower, but they were bigger. And what you may be hearing around the globe, it's not just small companies. There's some major, massive companies around the globe that have been um, fallen victim to data breaches. Uh, the, one of the most recent ones that may be close and near and dear to your hearts is in Australia, Optus uh, was recently breached. And that has the entire country in an uproar right now going, oh, wow, this is really real and, and, and we've got to take steps. So password stealers. Oh, right. Oh, passwords. 60% increase in the number of unique devices that had a password stealer detection has grown 60%. Malicious extensions in Chrome-based things where people are going to have these extensions, they add them in, and really all it is is doing is stealing your data. Um, and Internet of Things, right? So you little things, they don't have a display. How could they be stealing your data? Well, they do because a lot of those devices come with default passwords and people don't change them. And so hackers can very easily get in and take over your refrigerator or your um, information on your cameras, right? You know, those kinds of things, very, very scary. So these are things that were in existence before, but have been growing over time. There are also a couple of very interesting new things uh, that are in the emerging space. So Android for Windows, being able to create these Android malware that's specifically for the subsystem is becoming available for everyone. While that is developing, again, hackers are always looking for the latest and greatest opportunity to steal your information, trying to outrun the protections that we put out in front of them. And so that is a big area that is on the rise. The other thing is, is this concept of deep fakes. So um, if you're interested, you can send me a note. I found a very interesting video of a news article on a gentleman. He's an actor. He pretends to be Tom Cruise. Actually, he looks a lot like him. But deep fakes, if you're not really familiar with that concept, is being able to manipulate photographs or videos more like in an artificial intelligence sort of way. Um, this guy has this technology that covers his face and makes him look exactly like real Tom Cruise. And so he can move and he can say, he can do things as Tom Cruise that are look incredibly real and are very difficult to find out.